Hi there, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 4th of January. Welcome to the first full week of the new year. And Venus, the planet of attraction, continues in a really romantic part of your scope, but one which is particularly creative or can see you fascinated by anything to do with artistry or flair. So if there are ideas you want to express, this can be a week when you're going to want to showcase them. But Mars moves on the first day into a rather more inward area, your fourth solar house. The good news about this is that it can give you the determination to work on any creative strands, perhaps from the comfort of your home in terms of a hobby, or perhaps even in terms of starting your own small enterprise. But Mars does square up with Mercury, as it has been over the last few weeks, even though Mercury itself also moved late last week. And this square is going to continue for the rest of the week. So if the, your romantic situation is something you're wanting to pursue, this and a right angle between Venus and Neptune is something I need to unpick for you. Mars moving into your fourth solar house could make you a bit more prickly and defensive and rather more impatient if people don't understand where you're coming from. Because Mercury is in your sector of relating and partnerships, it could be in this area that you become frustrated, but be aware that Mercury starts a retrograde, the first of three of the year, on Tuesday. Of course, when Mercury goes into Rewind, it always throws up the potential for delays, misunderstandings and glitches. But in this right angle with Mars, I think it's frustration and irritation if people don't quite get your meaning as quickly as you'd like. So on one hand, you may want people to quickly tune in to you, but on another hand, it's your romantic imagination that's really being stirred. If there is somebody that you're interested in that you met over the Christmas holidays, well, Venus squaring up with Neptune could still see you utterly uh, fa fascinated by the way they're coming across. But Mars and Mercury may be giving you a few more clues about how this may really be, and it's bound to have some kind of more earthy, realistic side and the key is not ignoring that. If you do meet someone specifically this week, do be conscious that someone may tell you almost what you want to hear, but that's not necessarily a good thing at all. So be very, very grounded when it comes to your love life in general. However, Jupiter, the planet of optimism and growth and travel and knowledge, and of course, crucially, of good fortune, well, he starts to go backwards himself on Friday. Now, if you were planning something more speculative or entrepreneurial in the early parts of this year, it doesn't mean that you're suddenly going to have a whole load of bad luck. What it does mean, both these retrogrades, is that you have to plan things really meticulously. Because by Saturday, Mercury rewinds back into Capricorn. And, of course, you already have the Sun and Pluto in this location, so the details are going to be very important right through until the 20th of January. But Pluto and Uranus are still clashing this week, and that can create a certain amount of tension, especially in situations where other people automatically expect you to take on obligations, but ones which cramp your style, freedom of expression, or just ability to do your own thing. And if you've still not tackled those, there could be a sense of resentment and frustration, which could lead to some tense exchanges with Mercury and Mars in that conflict. There is, however, a, a new moon at the end of this week, a new moon which does give you the opportunity to knuckle down if you set yourself, uh, yourself some New Year's resolutions, but particularly more virtuous ones. But this also squares up with Uranus. So however much you want to achieve things, you have to be aware of how you're going to actually go about doing things because it's about juggling lots of different uh, responsibilities in a way which works for you. Getting your life more orderly, not in a kind of sort of a really almost clinical way, but getting it orderly in a way that gives you the opportunity to do other more enjoyable things is part of the trick about what the planets are asking you to do at this time. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.